I might just be one step ahead of you in getting on that do not detain list when you're driving. I'm going to show you what I did and then I'm going to show you how to do it. So here's what I did. I got my international driving permit. As well, I got my international driver's license. Let's take a look at the front part of this driver's permit. It says United States of America International Motor Traffic International Driving Permit. The Convention of International Road Traffic of the 19th of September, 1949, United Nations. It says that this permit is valid when shown with a domestic driver's license. That is this little filly right here. International driver's license, international driver's permit. Okay, um, it doesn't really give too much of your information on here, just your date of birth, your country of issue, and your issue date, and how it's valid. That A and B, if you go ahead and flip it on the back, you can ride a motor motorcycle or a car, but not any of these things. That's what I'm stamped for. So if you want to get this, you're first, you're going to want to go to eita.org. That is e-ita.org. You'll see this page. You'll probably want to fill out all this information. Here's um, a good reading on why you should carry international driving permit. Why do you need one of these? And it mentions the 1949 Convention on Road Traffic. And um, the United States was a signatory to the convention. And that is just step one if you guys want to um, have your freedom on the roads. And remember, I might just be one step ahead of you.